Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition glitch video. So in today's video, we've got another 20 glitches that we are going to be showcasing. But before I get any further into today's video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're liking the content that I'm producing, do us a solid and hit that like button. Again, if you are interested in joining a free subscriber realm, the link to that is over at the Discord. Um, failing to have Discord, you can always add me on the Twitter or the Insta Jam, and I'll do my very best to get over um, there and send you the link. So, in regards to the free subscriber realm, we've had a few changes on how you've got to access it. Um, we do require everyone's gamer tag to join now. Um, just a little bit more precautious of who's joining because we've got so many people joining. Um, we just can't keep track of it, and there's a lot of people just, like, not following the rules, even though it's an anarchy realm and there is no rules. So, yeah, that being said, let's get straight on to this video. Okay, so, number one is really, really quite good. You can get some free items off these villagers. So, basically, if you hold some emeralds in front of the villagers, so they show you the items that you're going to buy, and then you quickly switch to a sword and hit them, um, again, I don't want to get mixed up with the villager that I'm hitting, but there you go. If you quickly switch, you can actually get the item that they're showing you. Um, maybe if you've got like a fully upgraded one and they're showing you some diamond um, armor or whatever they're showing you, um, you can basically get free items and you don't even have to buy them. You just got to kill the villager. Again, you are going to lose um, the villager, but it's a nice little, nice little kind of glitch, if you like. Um, it's not really a duplication glitch because we're not duping anything. But it's a nice little trick to know. Again, I'm just going to do this one more time. Let me get the right villager. Quickly switch to my sword. And there we go. So, number two is one of my personal favourites. If you've got a shocker box with this kind of... Um, build on top of it you've got to have two blocks above your head well one block above your head and then you open the shocker box you will actually fall straight through to the um underneath if you've got no blocks underneath you will actually fall straight through so what i thought you could do with this is actually use this as some kind of like a hidden base doorway or something like that um i'm not sure if it's going to get patched but it's a nice little trick to know Okay, so number three is the first of two x-ray glitches. For the first one, you are going to need um, Potion of Fire Resistance. Um, that is right, Potion of Fire Resistance. You might be asking, why, James, do we need this? We're basically just going to jump straight into the lava. Obviously, now I'm in creative, but if you jump into the lava, it kind of makes the block above you just, like, completely invisible, so you can poke your head through, and it, and it inevitably makes an x-ray glitch. Again, there is obviously pros and cons towards this. Um, the pros are, yes, you can x-ray using it, and it's pretty easy to do. The cons are, you are obviously going to have to um, get the potions of fire resistance, and it's a little bit dangerous, so it's one of those, really. Number four. Basically, this is an OP, literally, it's so OP, it is one of the best duplication glitches I've ever showcased on my channel. I had to put it in this video purely for the fact that um, maybe a few of you haven't seen this one, but I'm pretty certain that you all have. Basically, you've got to get into glitch mode. Now, there's a few ways to get into glitch mode, one of them being um, crafting a honey block. Now, I've never actually been able to get that to work, but my favourite way is getting two books and quills, um, signing them, um, and put in a, an author in there and also a title um, and literally click sign so you've got the full book and then you're going to want to combine the two books and quills together um, simply by opening your crafting menu and once you've opened your crafting menu you want to manually place them in there like I'm doing and then grab the book that it obviously makes and now you are in glitch mode as simple as that so what we're going to want to do here is um, basically we're going to actually get an enchanted book from the crafting menu so let me just jump into creative get an enchanted book and we're going to enchant this sword because it's a lot better um, obviously duplicating enchanted items again there are so many variations of this glitch um, this is just one of them. Again, there's so many variations of what you can actually do in glitch mode. Believe me, this is OP. Um, I, again, I was super, super surprised when I first ever seen this one. It was crazy. So, basically, as you can see, we've still got the original sword that we, um, that we went to um, put the enchantment on. And, obviously, we've got the... Um, enchanted one as well, but not only that now if we go in and start changing the name 
Um, let me just go into survival and show you this. So if we go into the um, anvil, change the name of the sword. As you can see, they've both got different names. If we change the name and then take that one out that it produces, we're still going to get two. So you're going to get like the one that you put in and the, the, the one that you've changed the name. It's absolutely crazy. So this one is all right. Again, um, I've seen this one on Silent Whisper's channel. So a uh, big up to Silent Whisper. Basically, if you um, swim up um, a water stream going up in the air and you've got a block above your head, you can actually swim in like midair, as you can see now. Um, I tried to change the perspective of the video there so you could actually see it um, like in a better perspective. But it didn't actually work. It just went like fully black. I have no idea. So let's just do this again. Um, yeah, basically you've got to get under that block and if I can do it right, which obviously because I'm on a video I can't do it first time um, Let me do this. There we go. And we're just literally swimming in mid-air Okay, so this next one is kindly can't kindly kind of very pointless Basically if you've got a single bucket of water with a fish in now I can only get this to work with a fish you can actually duplicate water So for example, if you've only got one bucket of water and you really need to just keep spamming and like collecting the water and you can actually make like a full source block of water which is again it's quite pointless because you might never need to use it but again it's a nice trick to know so number seven um i've got a full tutorial on this on my channel this is a fully um automatic dragon trap now obviously it doesn't kill the dragon you've got to do that yourself as you can see i'm doing it with a bow and arrow but you can literally take um, a lot of health off the dragon like this and you will only need to destroy one end crystal as soon as you destroy that one end crystal the dragon dies Number eight, basically, um, how do we remove bedrock? Well, if you make yourself a little um, clock like I have done, you'll get to see it very, very shortly, and you get yourself some top snow. Um, basically, you want to make this clock, put a piston on the end of it, and then with the top snow, let me go into survival for you guys. With the top snow, what you're going to want to do is actually place it on the bottom of that bedrock. So if we face the bedrock and start placing the top snow so it falls, eventually it will build up, and just pop the bedrock off. Again, definitely a nice little trick to know um, for your survival game. Okay, so we know how to destroy bedrock, but how exactly do we obtain bedrock in survival? Well, it's actually quite simple. Using this contraption right here, again, this is not a full tutorial. I'm just going to show you the basic idea of it. And um, there's so many tutorials out there. This is actually comes from a Chinese website. And um, there's a lot of people who claim they've like um, made this, but believe you me, it's on a Chinese website. Um, they may have well improved the design that they um, originally found. But as you can see, I just got myself um, a piece of bedrock and it was fully in survival. Again, this is really OP to be honest with you. Um, and it's if you haven't done it, definitely worth doing. Okay, so this one is another completely pointless one, but it is pretty funny. So if we um, actually go into creative, get ourselves a flint and steel wherever they are. Again, I should know things like this. There you go. They're the flint and steelers. Let's grab ourselves a flint and steel. If we light half slabs, wooden ones, you, you can see that the fire, um, it appears. It's absolutely there. But if we light any other half slabs that are not made of wood, um, it's just invisible fire. Like, fully invisible. It doesn't even exist. Um, again, this is completely pointless, but it's a nice little bit of information to actually know. Okay, so number 11, we got another x-ray glitch. This one does not require any potions of fire resistance because we're going to do the exact same method but in water. Now, obviously, like I said, with the lava one, this has got pros and cons. The pros of this one is you don't need the potion, but the cons, it's a lot harder to actually control them being in the lava. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling to get in it, but it still fully does work um, and definitely worth a little go. Okay, so number 12 is actually a really, really good one. Now, basically, you can get um, a piston and a, fe a fence gate with some gravity falling blocks, aka sand and a concrete. Um, I'm just going to show you it with sand because I actually want to do a tutorial on how to make this concrete machine. But you can make it fully um, make the concrete so you can actually wet up the... Um, 
the concrete powder and it will change into concrete and then you can obviously uh, do this all in the same spot so it's really quite easy all you've got to do is place these pieces of sand and they all go into the same uh, one and like I said this fully works with concrete as well so all you have to have is some water going to it and you can actually make a concrete machine this one is completely pointless but it is quite funny if you jump and open your crafting or inventory should I say um, you just carry on jumping in the background I have no idea why it does this I'm not sure if it's supposed to happen but like I said it's pretty funny so number 14 requires us to go back into glitch mode I'm just going to use the book and quill method again and basically um, this is an unlimited XP glitch um, and also a duplication glitch so let me just go down here and double check see if I've got an enchanted item from the last time um, we used this glitch mode um, of course we haven't they've disappeared because I've actually been waiting around for too long so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a book which will still work but the um the better the enchantment on your, obviously, item that you're going to do this with, the more XP that you're going to get, okay? So, for example, if um, you use a book with, I don't know, five enchantments on it or four, um, you are going to get a lot more XP than doing it with a single enchantment. So, let me just go into survival. All we're going to do is go into the grindstone um, and literally spam, place the book in and spam the um, A button. And we can actually duplicate loads of books. Obviously, we've got 20 books there. We've also got 16 levels. And the faster we do this, the faster we're going to get to level 30. You can get to level 30 really, really, really fast using this method. Again, it's really awesome. And there's a tutorial, a bit more explanation on my channel. Okay, so number 15 is one of my personal favorite ones. On Jamarkey, I keep coming across these blocks. And basically, um, I've recently learned how to actually make them. So, basically, the items that you're going to need to make these um, are this. And to actually move this block around, you need a fishing rod, which is a little bit weird. But it's a block that you can't get in the game. Um, again, if you don't know what this is already, it's actually um, an entity of uh, a TNT that hasn't exploded. That's been pushed through a portal to make this block. So, I'm going to show you very quickly how to make this. Um, again, there's probably better tutorials online of how to make this, but it is so simple. Um, it really is so simple. So all you're going to need are all these items. I'm just going to grab them out and you're obviously going to need um, a couple of nether portals set up. So wherever you want the block, say like you want it in the overworld, you're going to have to do this bit in the nether like I'm doing. Okay, so now we are in the nether. As you can see, I've set up this little platform. You're going to want to grab two pieces of obsidian and place them in these locations. Then we're going to get a piston. You don't need a sticky piston. At least I don't think you do. Um, I'm just using uh, sticky pistons just because I had them um, near me. Um, again, I'm going to go into creative just to um, so I've got enough repeaters. You're going to need to set up some repeaters right now um, on four ticks delay. Um, exactly in these positions that I'm doing it now this is important that you do this correct because you need the right timing um, so obviously the TNT just, just doesn't blow up and blow all this up um, so yeah you're gonna need these repeaters on four ticks delay going all the way into the back of that piston so once we've done that um, we're nearly there now let me just put that on four ticks. And finally, let's do that last one. So basically, we're just going to put some cobblestone in these corners so the um, current can go through it. We're going to put our lever here. So when we pull our lever, as you can see, all the uh, repeaters start to light up. And then eventually, it obviously activates that piston. So um, now we're going to put a piece of TNT um, we've got to turn this off for obviously the piston to retract so we're going to put a piece of TNT in there What this lever is going to do is actually activate the TNT as you can see But before it blows up the piston pushes it into the overworld and when we get through to the overworld It does not blow up. It stays into this weird little entity again It's quite a fun little block to get and it definitely worth trying all right, so number 16 is a very small version of a gravity block duplicator. This thing will duplicate any gravity block in the game. Again, there's been loads and loads of tutorials on this. Um, however, I can't credit anybody because obviously I do not know the original creator of it. Believe you me, this has been around for so long, it's actually unbelievable. And like I said, if you want to learn to do this, there's so many tutorials online um, how you can actually do this. Um, so many people have made different versions of it. I just used Silent Whispers version. Again, thank you Silent Whisper for showing me a very simple way to do it. 
it. So if we go through um, here, as you can see, we've just got a stack and a half um, from pretty much a few seconds of literally waiting. Okay, so number 17 is more like a trick than a glitch, but it's really quite handy um, if you ever get lost and stuff like this. So as you can see, we've got a locator map, um, which is telling us which direction um, is which. We've got north, east, south, and west, all of the directions on the locator map. We can obviously tell because the top of the map's north, the bottom is south. It's that simple. So um, if you do not have a locator map on you or you don't have the materials to make a compass, just make yourself a crafting table. Now, I've left it in night time. Um, let me just go into survival so you can see this. Basically, um, it, this works for um, clocks as well. So if we look at the compass, the compass is fully pointing towards the spawn spot still. So it's a fully working compass inside the crafting table. You don't even need to make a compass or a clock. You can just carry around a crafting table and literally look at them via here. So this is going to work literally no matter what direction I go in, it will change the direction. So let me just change it to daytime so you can see that the clock also changes to daytime. Again, like I said, it's not really a glitch, but it's definitely a handy trick because this basically makes it so you never actually have to build a compass or a clock. When I say build, I mean make. Um, yeah, you never you see the clock. It's it's like sunny on the clock, and also the compass is changed direction in like as I've gone round the crafting table again. If we just put type in compass there, there you go, the compass there on its own. If we go round to the back of the crafting table, let me just show you one more time, it changes again. So obviously in the, any direction that we're facing, it will still work. Okay, so number 18 is definitely more of a trick than a glitch. However, it's super, super good. Um, I've seen this one in the comments of my last 20 glitch video. Um, again, if you haven't seen that, they're all different glitches. But by all means, go and have a look at that one as well. So what I'm going to do is just go into creative and go right at the top of this really long um, nerd pole that I've created. When we get to the top, I'm going to go in survival and completely jump off. So in essence, this one is going to prevent any full damage whatsoever. Um, and I'm sure you've guessed it already what we're going to do. So let me just go into uh, survival. Basically, if we jump off a really tall area and we quickly eat some chorus fruit, it's actually going to take off all uh, all full damage. Again, uh, it's a nice little tip to know. I didn't know this before. Definitely worth knowing. So, number 19 is a really useful one, um, especially to make a wither killer. Now, I've got a full tutorial on how you can actually make this wither killer. Um, obviously, it's using an end gateway, but um, a lot of the methods to actually remove the um, end portal bit in the middle have actually changed, and it doesn't work. But... There is an actual way. If you get yourself a mushroom, a red mushroom, and a load of bone meal, again, let me just go back into survival. Um, yeah, if you place a mushroom here and you just grow this, this is going to fully take out the end portal block that's in between the gateway. Again, this is really handy for obviously making a wither killer, and it's definitely something that you should try out for yourself. Pretty sure that this is the only way to remove that end gateway panel as well. So, number 20 is a bit of a different one. It's not really a glitch or a trick. It's more of just a bit of fun. So, if you use the uh, teleport command to go really far out um, and you start placing items, they will go really weird. Now, if you haven't done this and you do like glitches and tricks and just breaking the game, I definitely advise you to do this. Even the way I'm moving around, it's all glitchy and stuff like that. Again, an end rod, if you put an end rod down, it completely just goes flat. Everything is like 2D. Um, it's so funny. The animals do not move. Nothing's moving. Let me get some torches to see if they're 2D. Yes, they are. The torches are 2D as well. Again, I think we're um, very far out for this to actually work. Again, I'm not pretty sure if you can do this in survival. But, I mean, if you can travel this many blocks in survival, the chances are that you are going to be able to do this. Again, when we put villagers and chickens down, they just stand still like they're playing musical statues. Um, again, is there anything else we can look at? Oh, yeah, there's a village over there. Let's go to the village and just have a little look around because, inevitably, there's going to be some weird stuff going going on in this village. So, as soon as we approach the village, we can see this Iron Gollum completely stood still. Again, he's playing musical statues, and the music is obviously turned off. Um, or is it on? I have no idea. Again, let's have a little look around. Um, I can hear an incredibly loud sound. I think it's um, a door closing or something like that. Let's try and find that. 
Um, I'm pretty sure it's around here somewhere. Let's have a look. Um, and yeah, the villager seems um, to be trapped in there. He just can't get out. I mean, we're just too far out for him to even do anything. And not to mention, look at all these fences on on, on the horse stable. The horses are just frozen as well. Uh, it's so good. Definitely, definitely worth a try if you haven't already. Okay, so there we have it. 20 different glitches, tricks, and just funny things to do in Minecraft. Again, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a little while to make. Um, so yeah, smash that like button, and I will catch you on the next one.